my grandfather, he came from Belgium in 1955 with my my grandmother, my meme, they came to work on the farm. He homebrewed his whole life, and I remember going downstairs as a kid, just kind of seeing his setup and watching him do his thing, his chemistry, and he died in 2001. I go downstairs looking for something, you know, memorable that he had. In the back fridge, it's empty except for his last stubby bottle. I had it with me, you know, all these years and in, uh, in boxes and wherever I traveled to and moved to, and I found it in like 2013. And, said, well, maybe, you know, Pepe wanted someone to take this to the next level. It's, uh, it's been a long road because this is just a dirt field before. Things take longer than you think, especially when you're doing it on your own, but we did it as a family. We wanted you to feel like you're in a barn. The ceiling, which is spruce and pine, they were from raw logs that we milled down ourselves. So I think there's about 80 logs in the ceiling. You know, we stained and buried on each piece too. We have the old red barn, the original red barn, red wood. Beer is our number one priority in making good beer, but it's also about making memories here. When you have an atmosphere, I know atmosphere is big for me. It's something you want to come back to. It's something you feel comfortable with. That was a big part of our story and still is that, you know, this is what we've done as a family.